Wow. This is so impressive. So impressive. What's up, party people? Android Stud here, and I have the Galaxy Z Fold 3 from Samsung. Now, this is my full house review. I've had this device with my main SIM in it for about 30 days, just a little over 30 days. And let me tell you something. I was a foldable hater, okay? I wasn't a big fan of foldables. I didn't think they were practical. I didn't think they were durable. I thought devices like this were, you know, after a while you're like, eh, why would you buy a foldable device? Um, I wasn't a big fan of devices like the first fold, the second fold, devices like the Surface Duo, or even the V60 with their dual screens. But let me tell you something. There is something about this Fold 3 that kind of won my heart, okay? But let's get into it. I wanted to give you my review. I wanted to show you what I love about this device, uh, what some things that I think they could improve. But let me tell you something. If you haven't used the Z Fold 3, it's very impressive. It is very impressive. Now, let's talk about the price right out the jump. Let's talk about the elephant room. This device here is $1,800 from Samsung, $1,799. It's an expensive device. It's a lot of money. Uh, it's justified because of the foldable technology. You got this beautiful hinge. You got the screen on the front. You know, where you could do your stuff, do all your stuff. And then you got the, obviously, the showstopper when you open that screen. Isn't that beautiful? 7.6 inch, 120 hertz on the inner display, 120 hertz on the outer display. So you're moving and grooving when it comes to technology. It's expensive though. I would rather have a regular phone and a tablet for that amount of money, you know, maybe a S21 Ultra and then maybe a tablet or maybe an iPhone and an iPad mini. This is a lot of money. I think it's, it's, it's expensive, but it's justified because of the technology that you're seeing here. So for that, I got to give them credit for what they made here. Samsung is at the cutting edge when it comes to this kind of technology. Now, is this device durable? I thought that it wasn't but let's get into it. I thought that carrying around a device like this, I have dogs, I have grandkids, I got all kinds of stuff, right? So when I use this device around the dogs and the kids and everything happening, my work, going to the beach, going outside, I was a little fearful. Now this is water resistant, um, but I found this device to be very durable. It's not as fragile as I thought it was gonna be. It has a plastic screen protector on it, which helps with scratches. It's got a screen protector here on the front, so you don't have to worry about that getting scratched up. Now, you do need to get yourself a case, uh, whatever it is, to have some kind of minimal prediction because, you know, you don't want to, you know, this is an expensive device, so you don't want to have to, uh, pay a bunch of money to get it fixed. Now, do you wanna drop this device? Oh no, you do not wanna drop this device. If you drop this device, you're gonna have problems because of the form factor. You know, if you have it open, if it falls on its face, but like any other smartphone that you have, whether it's a S21 Ultra, Note 20 Ultra, or a Pixel or an iPhone, if you drop that phone, you have, this might be, this is probably gonna be more expensive to fix, but hey, you're gonna to have to, deal with that but this is next level technology if you ask me um so i believe it's durable enough to use on an everyday basis uh, i did it didn't bother me to have to open this up or using the cover screen um everything is pretty it just won my heart over man i ain't gonna lie i really do i like the size of this um when you when it's not open because it's nice and slim feels good in the hand and then when you open this up I mean, look at that. I'm telling you, man, you just go to a party and you whip this out. You're going to impress a lot of people. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I, I would, would I go back to a candy bar phone like a S21 Ultra? 
maybe possibly but hey you have to take into consideration what this thing is offering so let's talk a little bit about the cover display now is it, is it a little tight to type yes it is but the thing that i would recommend is when you do use a keyboard i would use the um i would use probably a the google keyboard which i love because it's a little easier to type a little faster i would do speech to text or i would swipe type so that way you could type in exactly what you're looking for and then you could search it so that's what i would recommend it when you're using the inner display is to use the speech to text or swipe typing now if you don't want to swipe type you can open up this impressive display and you could type here now I use the Google keyboard. You could do the split keyboard, but I recommend the Google keyboard because I think it's awesome. Uh, it works well. The speech to text, it does everything. And I like typing like this with a full keyboard. So that is a, a bonus. Now, is it a little cramped on the cover screen? Yeah, it could be a little cramped, but it doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Um, you, one thing you can't do is you can't use the S Pen on the cover screen. You can only use the S Pen on the inner display so if you're going to use the s pen make sure that you use um or you're going to have to use, you're going to have to use the um cover screen so um there is a crease there on the you're going to have to use the inner display sorry there is a crease there so if you're going to write notes you may want to write this way that way you can avoid the crease there but if the crease is, if your OCD or something, things bother you easily, you may want to skip this Fold 3 because it does have a crease in the middle. Now, I like using the cover screen when I'm making phone calls, maybe sending some quick text messages, checking out the Twitter feed, um, you know, because you can run and gun here, 120 hertz on the front, which is excellent. Google Maps also, put this in my car, go wherever I need to be, do what I need to do. Uh, see who I need to see that kind of thing surfing the web real quick, but then You have this 7 point inch 7.6 inch display that is just phenomenal. I mean look at this man. This is bananas if you ask me It is just watch Netflix watch YouTube do all kinds of stuff here The other thing you could do on here is you can pin your apps so you could have your apps here on the side which is just a phenomenal feature. And then if you, let's lose those apps. If you come here, you could do two apps at the same time. There I have my Chrome, and then I have my uh, email here, talking about the iPhone 13, the new cases they got coming out. And then if you really want to get into it, you could do three screens. Check this out. I got my Twitter feed going, I got my YouTube, I got my Telegram, so if I want to share my video from YouTube to Telegram, or I want to tweet a YouTube video or whatever, vice versa, do whatever I need to do, you could do three screens at one time. That is just insane. And that's what I would say about this device. If you're going to use this device, if you're going to get this device, you have to use it for this kind of stuff. You can't use this device like a regular phone, like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. You got to use, ooh, update. You got to use this. You got to use this Fold 3 for its full capability. If you get this to use it like this, you're doing yourself a, 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 a disservice. You got to use this for the full capabilities. Now, let's talk about the cameras. Now, the first camera I want to talk about is that inner display camera here. Let's get into it. Uh, I don't know if you could see it here. Let's uh, let's open up ESPN. But there is a little camera there. Um, I don't know if you guys could see it, but let me uh, let me pull up something that. There we go. So you see that little camera there? That's like a little pixel pixelized camera there. It has a front facing camera. Now it's a four megapixel uh, camera that oh you know uses the front screen here. Now, it doesn't have great quality. It doesn't have the best, uh, you know, the best quality as far as, uh, let's see. But it's good enough, shout out to the uh, garage opener there. 
it is good enough for the Zoom calls, the Microsoft Team calls, whatever you're going to do there. Um, you're, you're able to use it for that, but it's not the greatest camera. The punch hole on the Fold 2, I think, is better. Now, on the cover display, you do have a camera here that is a 10 megapixel camera that you can use that is pretty good. So I would recommend using the cover screen camera. I would not use the other one. Now, the other thing that you could do is when you're on your cover screen and you hit that little selfie button here, guess what? You can use the rear cameras to take selfies. You see that? There I am right there. You just take your little selfie. You could also do videos and you can use this triple threat on the back. Three 12 megapixel cameras that you can use as a front facing shooter. So that to me is absolutely epic and awesome. It is just phenomenal. Now, is it a, are these cameras as good as like an S21 Ultra or Note 20 Ultra? No, I think that S21 Ultra's cameras are the best in the game along with the Pixel phone. So um, that's the one thing along with the price that kind of is one of the, I don't know if it's a deal breaker, but it's one of those things where the phone costs $1,800. You might want to put $1,800 worth cameras in the phone. The, the pictures on here are pretty good, but they're not great. Um, so, you know, see, that's the rear camera. And that looks phenomenal. That was the front facing on the cover screen. There's the uh, beast right there, the panda. Uh, taking some pictures at the park with the dog, uh, all kinds of stuff. I was out playing some golf. You know, there's some good shots that this phone does take, um, but those are daylight shots. They look perfect. Um, so I think the cameras are good. They're just not great. That's the one thing. If this thing had great cameras, I wouldn't care about the $1,800 price point. I really wouldn't. It wouldn't bother me. If they would have put the S21 Ultra cameras in this phone, it's a wrap. This is probably gonna, this would be the phone of the year. So. That's the deal with the cameras, you know, that's the thing. Now the speakers on here are stereo speakers and they are phenomenal. I love the speakers on here. They sound great. Now, the other thing that I like is it has a side fingerprint reader. It doesn't have an in-display like the, some of the other Samsung devices or some other devices. And it is excellent. It is fast. You know, you can, boom, you're right in. You got no issues with the fingerprint reader. I love the fingerprint reader. I wish more phones put the side fingerprint reader. I know Sony did it for a little while. I love Face ID on the iPhones. I love it on the Pixel 4, 4XL. But to have that side fingerprint reader is great. I don't like in-display fingerprint readers. I just think they have not perfected it enough. And it's been a few years now they've been able to try to perfect that technology. But they just, not ha they just haven't found that sweet spot when it comes to uh, dealing with the fingerprint reader. Now, this, you get you get DeX on here, so if you want to hook this up to a monitor, you could do that. Uh, check out your things. The other thing that's cool about this phone is if you have any kind of Excel spreadsheets, uh, contracts you need to sign, anything like that, you're going to be able to get it done with this phone. Battery life on here, it's been good, not great, not terrible, but it, for having a gigantic display, two displays, five cameras, I think the, the battery of life on here is pretty darn good. Now, having said that, am I going to stay with the Z Fold 3 as my main device? It's hard to go back to the candy bar like a Note 20 Ultra or an S21 Ultra like this one here or even a Pixel 5a. But I will say, this device is a heavy hitter. I really do enjoy this device. I, it's hard for me to put it down. It's hard for me to put my SIM in any of the other devices because I miss this this much. I just like the convenience of the cover screen. I like the pure fantasy of the inner display and just having that real estate for watching YouTube. I watch a lot of videos. I sign a lot of things up for work. I look at a lot of Word documents, Excel, all kinds of stuff 
This thing is a game changer when it comes to those things. So I'm on the fence whether I'm gonna keep it and use it for a long time. I have been using it for 30 days. I'll keep you guys updated, but I do love this device. It's one of the best devices I've ever used. It is an amazing piece of technology. Do I recommend it? Yes. If you can stomach that price point, you could deal with good cameras, not great cameras, then go for it. That's gonna do it, man. Like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have this phone or, or what you think of the Z Fold 3 or what you think about foldables in general. The Z Flip 3 is a good device too. Kind of cool if you wanna check that out. I'll leave some links down in the description for those. And also subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get videos like this and much more. Peace party people.